Hey guys, I'm David with Dance On and I'm giving you your weekly recap of So You Think You Can Dance Season 9. We're down to the finale performance. This is the top four, the real deal. There are like five performances for each contestant, so I'm just gonna do it in order. We started with the Paso Doble with Cyrus and Eliana, and of course, Cyrus is choreographed as the cape, because what else has he been in this competition but a cape to every partner he's partnered. Eliana did bring a lot of ferocity with her performance, but Cyrus couldn't even lift her. He was, with all of the fan kicks, he was lifting her too low, and it was just lackluster. Tiffany and Will's Sony tie piece was beautiful. There was lots of contrast with levels, and also Tiffany is just great at balancing her partners. I also loved Sony Tai's choice of music. I thought that it went really well. The piece was basically a lot of great contrast. Then Eliana and Kian did a classical ballet piece, and I am happy that ballet is getting a shout out on this season of the show. I do have to say that Eliana's turns took about a third of the piece, and I thought that there could have been a more interesting route, especially with such a short ballet piece. But both of them danced it beautifully. Kian's double tour looked better than it's ever been. I can tell that a week of ballet has been really good for the both of them. Tiffany and Cyrus's hip hop was actually good. Cyrus was actually good. His lifts were great with the help of Tiffany, of course. Um, uh, his turns were quicker. Everything was sharper. His performance was great. Um, Tiffany did sort of carry the performance still and she flowed from movement to movement beautifully, but I thought that this was Cyrus's best of the night. Then we got to the group routine choreographed by Tice Diorio. I have to say that I thought the choreography and the concept were a little confusing, as is sometimes frequent with Tice Diorio's co choreography. Um, Kian's turns, they look amazing amazing this week. That week of ballet really paid off. I caught a little continuity error with Tiffany coming out of one of her turns at the end, so I think this was pre-recorded, but you know, give them a break. It's five routines to memorize in one week. As usual, I'm not covering solos, but I do have to say in Eliana's solo, there was a moment where she went from point to this forward walkover, and it was incredibly stunning. If you didn't catch it, go back and watch it, because it's it's amazing. Kian and Allison's Stacey Tucci routine was probably the best of the night. Allison is wonderful and she pulled such an amazing performance out of Kian. I was waiting for this with him. Um, uh, all of the partnering, all the music and, and the lifts and everything. It was beautiful. I was crying. It was, it was wonderful. Then we got to Eliana and Tiffany's pole dance. Um, I actually have to say that I liked Tiffany better for most of the routine. I thought that she worked in the style better, except for the last trick by Eliana, of course, hanging at the top. Cyrus and Kian's Sonia Taya duet really revealed how little technique Cyrus has. When you see Kian and Cyrus dancing together in the same outfit, doing most of the same choreography, it was just, it was really, really apparent who was the dancer and who was the personality. Um, uh, I guess at least Cyrus lifted Kian a few times, maybe? Eliana and Alex Wong's Travis Wall piece was just overwhelming to watch. If there is such thing as perfect dancing, it's really these two dancers partnering. I was really impressed with the speed of Eliana's legs in this piece, not just the flexibility, but she just like popped them up there. And um, uh, Alex was such a great partner for her. Travis Wall's choreography is wonderful as usual. It was just a joy to watch. Tiffany and Keon's rumbo was a little bit bland. Um, uh, I didn't really feel a connection between the two of them. Um, one thing that I noticed also was that her shoes were not flattering her feet at all. When she first went into the splits, I just looked at her foot and it looked like she wasn't pointing it enough, but then I realized it was the shoe and that was not a good choice on the stylist part. Lastly, we had a big build up for this animation routine with Cyrus and Twitch. Um, uh, honestly, Cyrus looked tired. Um, I don't know if he was tired or if his movements are too small in comparison with Twitch, but on the big stage, all I was looking at was Twitch. Um, I know that this is Cyrus's style, and in his solos, he looks really good, but when dancing next to Twitch, it wasn't as impressive. Sorry. Also, Nigel's last comment to Cyrus that he wouldn't be voting for him was so awkward and so typical of Nigel. It was like, I, my jaw dropped. I don't know why he said that, if it was for ratings or if it was planned, but Whoa, it was awkward. Anyway, that's it for this week. I'm so excited for the finale. Obviously, I'm rooting for Kiana and Eliana, although I do think Tiffany's a wonderful dancer, and I do think that uh, Cyrus has a great personality and he's gonna be successful, so whatever. Um, I just am rooting for the dancers that I think are the best dancers. So, tell me who you're rooting for in the comments, tell me which routines you liked, whatever, and I will see you one more time next week. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.